My name is Greg Evans. I work for USDA APHIS, the Animal Plant Health Inspection Service in Beltsville, Maryland. I'm responsible for the identification of scale insects and white flies primarily. Uh, let's go to the Orchemoplatus mammiferus uh, slide. So the next character in the key is on uh, number four. It says tracheal notch or four present, uh, caudal, fur caudal furrow present. Okay, so what that's talking about is this is a caudal, the tracheal fur along here, and at the end of it, you have a pore or a cleft here. Remember, in, under this, the last specimen, we just saw this undifferentiated. It was the same along the entire margin. You didn't see any distinction here at all. But in the case of these species, uh, under this group, you see that the caudal margin is differentiated here into a cleft. And for a chemoplatus, they, they have these very elongate uh, papillae or teeth that extend far way out, far out here. Also, a characteristic of this genus are these barrel-shaped glands along the edge. Also along the caudal margin, You see the, the caudal cleft also. It terminates in these long, fleshy CD, not CD, uh, protuberances. Okay. Here's the vasiform orifice. But for this genus, those, those long, fleshy protuberances in the caudal opening and along the uh, tracheal opening, along with these glandular pore, uh, uh, gland areas uh, pretty much define this genus. 